Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this YouTube channel, I will tell you how to do part design, part design assemblies and surface design in CADIA software. So I am using uh, I am using uh, CADIA R21 version and the mode of language is English and this course is targeted at beginner level learners and objective of this course is by the end of this CADIA design course students able to design anything that pops up into their mind now let us see so this is uh, this video is the introduction video and in this video itself I will tell you CADIA interface and basic settings toolbars operations features etc things and now let's get started but before we get started I would like to tell you something if you are new to this channel please subscribe this motivates me to do more videos now all the videos on this youtube channel follows lecture wise uh, sequence if you want to understand all the lessons and get better knowledge I recommend you to watch them in a particular manner lecture wise manner now let's get started minimize this so this is my laptop screen recording I have already installed CADIA R20, R21 version um, on my PC now here is the uh, app application for that for that CADIA software so once I click on this uh, a pop-up will a, this, a pop-up uh, will show up like this and this is the first CADIA interface that you will find when you open CADIA software now um, on the top left corner you will find an option called start click on that so there you will find infrastructure mechanical design shape design analysis simulation etc things but in this lesson we are focusing on part designs so go to mechanical design then choose part design yeah so when you click on part design a pop-up uh, such a pop-up you will find and here you have to name your part let's say um, part hash one part or hash one okay so this is the uh, part design that we are going to do so once you click on that uh, this uh, interface will come and this interface is part design interface so on the left side you will find planes three planes xy plane yz plane zx plane and if you want to uh, select a plane you can directly click here or or you can directly go to this uh, center of this interface and pick up the planes here so these planes are nothing but represented here now on the right side you have a toolbar and there you will find uh, an icon which is shown up like a pencil or a paper this is called a sketcher icon so in, in sketching any profile first we will choose this we will uh, we will click on this sketcher then we will select a plane any of plane and then we will go for designing uh, any i mean uh, sketching any profiles okay i will show you in this lesson okay but before that uh, underneath here oh, you have a bottom toolbar and you have features like you know zoom fade pan rotate zoom in zoom out etc things and these are operating features and while we are doing exercises examples i will show you the use of these operating features it will be very interesting guys now let's get started so first you have to do is remember first you have to do is select this sketcher then you have to select uh, any of these planes generally i would like to select yz plane yeah now this is the interface sketcher design interface of cadia software sketcher design interface now see before we get into this um i would like to do some basic settings why because you know i you know i am finding profile here you know i have a profile toolbar an operation toolbar and then you know toolbars like you know let's say this is another toolbar but some of you may not find uh, this toolbar let's say 
unfortunately let's say it was closed unknowingly and you didn't know that uh, somehow you closed it and if you want to um, create a sketch or profile you certainly need the profile toolbar here but you don't find it here so then how to fix that problem you know by by setting you know by setting up the settings you can find that toolbar now let us go to uh, the basic settings mm, go to tools there you will find customization option okay so this is the um, customize pop-up there you click on toolbars okay then select restore all contents then you know uh, clicking restore all contents will help you to you know generate or um, or bring back all the toolbars that were deleted or closed earlier then restore all positions it will it will help you to restore all the positions of toolbars now um, click on close yeah so this is the profile toolbar earlier we have closed right okay then this is the operators toolbar now for your better understanding i would like to keep it horizontally i would like to keep it horizontally this is the profile and these are the operators okay now i would like to keep them right side and this one upside on the top come on baby mm, perfect yeah this is anywhere no problem no problem yeah now let us get started so let's look at the profile okay you know profile uh, contains um, you know different profiles this profile toolbar has different types of um, uh, profiles and each one has a particular use particular application first the name of the first profile is profile itself so the use of this profile is yeah so if you click on this profile then if you want to draw a line a continuous line you can um, sketch lines like this with the help of profile you know see remember i have only once clicked here okay only one time but i am able to use it multiple times here multiple times so that is the use of profile and see um, i can create uh, I can, with, the, with the help of profile i can create rectangles rectangles okay this is a rectangle okay then with the help of the same profile i can create triangles yeah oh this is the triangle so that is the use of profile and but if you want to uh, sketch uh, if you want to create the same rectangle with the help of the line command so this is the line so you have to you have to select it four times you know one time you are selecting it okay one time and then i have, I have to go back again and click on this line okay and again i have to pick this end point you know i have to do, uh, create another line again i have to go to a line of a line line command and then again i have to create the third side yeah third side okay and again i have to go back i have to select this line and join this you know this is a headache right guys you know using line command is really a headache because um, you have to go multiple times back but uh, with the help of this profile option you need not to go back again back again right just one time this is a one time operation see one time operation i didn't go back right i didn't go back right you're seeing it okay you know what i'm doing yeah so that is the um, benefit of profile over line command okay now let's delete this and we'll see uh, some other examples yeah okay select this delete select this delete select this and delete now let us look at the rectangle option 
so rectangle profile so here you will have different different ways for sketching or creating a rectangle different ways uh, this is a direct way this is a three point way and this is a para paragraph okay leave it leave them and here you have a center right angle you know these are different ways of creating a rectangle now let us look at the first way i'm oh, sorry let us look at the first way you know it is very easy all you have to uh, pick a point somewhere and then you need to drag your cursor away from that point make it like this uh, the rectangle is created this is very easy guys mm, this is one way okay uh, i will show you again i will show you one more time okay first you have to pick up the uh, rectangle you have to select a point anywhere anywhere on the screen okay select a point click there and drag your cursor away from that point you know that's how you create a rectangle yeah guys you know before this i would like to tell you something see on my screen uh, you can you can find grids here so if you would like to find grids you know this was uh, enabled so the grid option is enabled so that's why i am finding grids on my screen okay and this one is disabled you know you should disable this okay otherwise you will have a hard time so uh, enable grid option okay if you disable grid option Okay, I won't find grids here, but I would like to have grids on my screen. So that's why I'm enabling it. Okay. Now let us look at the another way of another way of uh, uh, creating a rectangle. So I need, you know, as you see in the icon, we have three points. So I need to create three points first. So okay, directly I can do it. See, directly you know, by clicking this um, profile the icon. So select first point then select second point then select third point somewhere here okay first second third okay a rectangle is created okay. but for your better understanding i would like to represent you know i would like to show it uh, with three points perfect yeah somewhere here now go to rectangle this is actually oriented rectangle yeah first point is selected second point is selected and third point somewhere here we have selected so this this is actually oriented rectangle in a sense you know let me go back uh, control z mm, control z uh, let me uh, delete these points mm, yeah so oriented uh, try rectangle in a sense it has 90 degrees okay 90 degrees at one corner it should have you know see here if you join this the three points you will find a corner with 90 degrees angle right so that is um, that is the essential um, for uh, sketching a oriented triangle so first the select the first point and select the second point and select the third point so now we have created a rectangle with the use of three point oriented rectangle now let's look at let's delete this let us delete this fast very quick we are moving fast and this video is getting lengthier you know we have a parallelogram now let's look at how we can create a parallelogram parallelogram needs three points first point let's say randomly i'm choosing first point and then select point and sorry then the second point and then somewhere here third point now let us go to parallelogram click on parallelogram okay select the first point select the second point and then select the third point yeah here we have create a parallelogram so uh, that's how we can create a parallelogram with the help of three points now delete this delete this now we have a centered rectangle centered rectangle in the sense, in the sense you know, somewhere anywhere on the screen okay uh, the first point you select on the screen will be the center for the triangle uh, sorry for the rectangle that you are going to create let's say uh, somewhere here i am clicking you know somewhere here i would like to click and that will be the center for the uh, for the rectangle that i am creating so yeah a rectangle is created okay, having a center right up here okay delete this and i would like to save and show it like one more time let's say i want a rectangle uh, having center uh, as the origin of this plane okay, of this 
ZY plane. Now select the center right uh, rectangle and select the origin. Okay. Then drag your cursor away from the origin, and that's how you create a, rec a rectangle, center rectangle. Okay. Delete this points group. Mm, and now let us look at uh, the profile called circle. You know, circle is my uh, favorite profile. Okay, I will tell you why it is so. Okay, let's look at. Uh, we have different ways of uh, sketching or creating circles. The first one is the direct way, as you know, and the second one is a three-point circle. Now let's get into. You know, let's get into it. So now let us uh, click on the first one, the di direct circle. So anywhere on the screen, the first point you select will be the center of that circle. Now click somewhere on the screen. You can drag your cursor away from that point a circle is created so this is the direct way of creating a circle now let us look at the second way so the second way goes with three point circle three point circle in the sense um, you need to have three points anywhere on the screen three points anywhere on the screen okay perfect now let's say uh, someone asked me that uh, sketch a circle or create a circle which is uh, which is passing from these three points now that is very easy with this carrier software interface boys um, go to go to circle then select three point then select the first point <laughs> select the second point and then select the third point so th now we have a circle which is passing from the three points one two three okay this is very nice getting interesting okay um i will explain you one more time for you now go to three point circle select the first point and select the second point and select the third point okay so that's how you create a three point circle mm, you know i have you know, i you know i have these points just for a representation per purpose without these three points also i can create a three point circle say the first point uh the, the first point will be the first and this is the second point and somewhere here the third point the first point i have selected somewhere uh -huh. here and second point uh, somewhere around here and third point somewhere somewhere around here so that's how we create a three point circle now go to um, try tangent circle so try tangent circle in the sense uh, this is a circle which is tangent to three lines okay let's have uh, let's create first three lines yeah this is the first line and this is the um, second line and this is the third line okay now someone asked me that you now create a circle which is tangent to these three lines and that is very easy so go to circle Okay, there you choose right tangent circle option. Okay, then select the first tangent, select the second tangent, and select the third tangent. Yeah, now I have a circle which is tangent to the three lines. So this is called right tangent way of creating a circle. Okay, delete this. Now, now we have three point arc. Three point arc. Now let's look at that. Three point arc in the sense. Uh, this is the first point. Says so first point, and uh, this is the second point. Okay, the th third point will um, be. Okay, will be yeah somewhere here. So this is the uh, three point circle method. Delete this. Mm, delete this also. Mm. Now go to the circle option. Okay, there you find three point arc standing with the limits. So this is uh, another interesting way of creating a circle. Now uh, I will explain you this. Now first of all, uh, you need to have two limits. Let's say this is the limit one, and this is the limit two. Okay, and these are the two extreme limits of the arc now go to uh, three point arc starting with um, so select the first point and select the second point 
and you have to select third point so either downside here or upside here somewhere okay so I would like to select it here so this is the um, way of creating a arc with the help of three points standing with a, a line okay so this is very interesting delete this and this is the point we have created boys and guys mm -hmm. yeah so just for representation purpose only I am selecting points and showing you everything okay without that points also I can directly select points here okay select the first uh, extreme limit second the second limit and select the you know third point so that's how I create a arc delete this and you know you have arc a direct arc which is very easy first you have to select the center and then you have to select one extreme limit and then you have to select okay another extremity okay once again i would like to explain you one more time first you have to select the center then you have to select the first extreme then you have to select the second extreme so that's how you create an arc uh, this is the direct arc method delete this and delete this also mm, yeah so circle is over and uh, i would like to show uh, something and the profile which comes under into circular only so this is elongated holes elongated holes in the sense you know you not have two points one two and this is the elongated hole so that's how we create elongated holes okay mm, yeah delete this delete this mm, yes now the next profile is spline this is very important you know in surface design so it won't play a major role in part design but this is very important surface design now let us have a quick look at spline spline is something a curve and which is very smooth and which passes through random points and creates a smooth curve let's say i have these random points one two okay three and four now you know let's say i would like to have a curve okay which is connecting these four points i would like to have a profile which is connect these four points and that profile should be smooth so first i'm trying with profile option select the first point select the second point and select the third and select the fourth so with the help of profile with the help of profile you know i have i have created uh, a sketch and this look at here it is not smooth and here it is not smooth we have a corner here so this is not the right way so uh, if you want to create a smooth curve passing from this given points go to spline then select the first point select the second point select the third point and fourth point okay now look at this look at this curve it is passing from the four points that are given and it is very smooth okay so delete this okay guys my friends you know without this points also i can directly uh, sketch okay i can directly select the first point second point third point fourth point fifth point now that's how we can directly create and delete this mm, perfect now you know this is not important okay i won't go into it and this is line mm, line is uh, yeah this is line okay now these are axis axis in the sense you know, if you would like to let's say look at this Mm, let's say this is axis this is called axis and I have a profile here let's say I have a profile circle profile uh, better go here circle profile and I have circle profile here and I want the circle profile uh, to be mirrored okay about this axis you know you need an axis to mirror a profile okay uh, on the opposite side so go to mirror select the profile and select the uh, about axis so that's how you create a mirror mirror uh, of any sketch or any profile so uh, th this axis always um, always in the center of the um, uh, interface but if you want somewhere here okay then you need to create the axis okay 
okay this is the access option and we have circular profile and go to mirror go to mirror select the profile and select the about access and that's how you create you know that's the use of access okay delete this and delete them also the circle also perfect this is really interesting yes really really interesting i'm getting excited i'm getting really excited now now let's look at um this profile is completed profile toolbar is completed now let us look at operations one is first one is fillet or fillet or chamfer it can it can be called in either ways fillet or chamfer sorry fillet or corners and this is uh, chamfer this is trim this is mirror and in mirror you have different um, categories and this is uh, not important or uh, this part design but we will discuss in later lessons now let us look at operations first say let's say you have let's say um, now this is let's say this is yeah i have created a sharp edge here uh, you can find it i have created a sharp edge using profile okay Mm, but I would like to have a smooth edge here. I don't want a sharp edge. I would like to have a smooth edge here. So what should I do? So go to corner, select the first side and select the second side. Yes, there you have the smooth, the smooth edge. Okay, and you can change the dimensions. You know, I will explain you all about dimensions in later classes. Okay, so um, at present, this is how we use corner or fillet option now let's look at chamfer so uh, here i have here i have no, this is not the right point mm, yeah I, here i have another uh, another l shaped l shaped profile or sketch and uh, we have a sharp edge but i don't want this sharp edge now i would like to have a cutting here a cutting a chop okay for that i will go to chamfer and i will select the first side and then i will select the second side and uh, that's how i create now i have cut you know we have cut it off this was cut off this edge was cut off you can say uh, you can find it this edge is cut off and um, you have this chamfer here you can give the length and you can give the angle so i will explain all about this in later classes okay so now let's look at the trimmer let's say you have two lines two intersecting lines okay but let's say i want this only this only i don't you know i would like to uh, I, I don't want this extremities i don't want this extremities and i would like to have this one only so for that i will go to trim so trim this uh, extreme side i want i don't want and sorry one minute guys control z mm, use it multiple times yes and then yes yeah so um control z let me explain you one more time and control z yeah let's say i would like to uh, trim this this extremity and this extremity the upper extremities okay and i would like to keep this so go to trimmer and then select select the opposite opposite side of uh, the trimming parts so i would like to trim this upper extremity so i have to select this one and i have to select this one so the upper extremity will get trimmed off or cut off so that is the use of trim option now let us look at another uh, very famous and uh, very often used option called quick trim now you, you can find an um, icon like array symbol so click on that so double click it so that you can use multiple times if you click it single time um you, you can only one use it one time so double click it perfect now i would like to erase this side so all i have to do is go and click on this side so this side is erased and again i would like to erase this side so go go and click on this side this side is also erased so that is the use of um, trim and this is a very famous option and we will be using it often times now let us look at mirror mirror and symmetry rotate mm, things like this you know 
let's delete this very fast we are it's getting excited I'm, i like it very much boys yeah yeah delete this delete this perfect perfect now let us have a profile somewhere here okay. let's say i want this profile to be on the opposite side um exit the opposite side for this for this central axis okay that is called mirroring that is this you know transferring this not transferring but uh, mirroring this on the opposite side called um, having the same profile on the opposite side of a central axis called mirror so go to mirror and select the profile and select the about axis and now we have circle that, that is symmetry about this axis so now that is the use of symmetry option now delete this now let us look at um, transfer or symmetry okay symmetry so symmetry is uh, the use of symmetry is let's say now I, I actually have to sketch this or create this profile circle profile on the right side of this central axis but mistakenly let's say I have, I have created it on the um, on the left side of this axis so let me explain to you I'm just quite confused with words I want this profile to be on the right side of the central axis but mistakenly let's say mistakenly I created it on the left side of the central axis now I would like to have it on this side how can I do that go to symmetry select the profile and select the about axis no yeah this is great I have transfers you know I have transferred this profile so to the right, right side now delete this now that's the use of uh, symmetry option now let's look at transfer so let us create a circle let us create a circle and I would like to have the circle in a linear pattern with a particular distance among them or okay now go to transfer I would like to transfer the circle five times or more times in a, in a linear manner a linear pattern so I would like to have five more instances mm, uh, and select this circle and select the center point and so this is um, uh, the second point so the second point decides the distance between circle okay to this point and to this point we have distance and this distance will keep repeating for the rest of the uh, circles now that's how we create it that's how we create um, you know, linear patterns with the use of transfer uh, option okay now control Z back now let us see the repeat or rotate okay mm, first let me delete this now I would like to have a circle in a circular pattern in a circular pattern okay about this origin in a circular pattern about this origin so how can I do that go to rotate option select the profile then select the center point then select the instances I would like to have six instances mm, let's say only five sorry five and the angle is 60 degrees okay yeah so you now we have repeated it in two, five instances you know, including the original one this is six so the angle is 60 degrees uh, among each of these circles so that's how we create circular patterns yeah so delete this yeah now so guys this is the introduction lesson I think I have covered uh, everything that is uh, important um, important in this career uh, software and career designs and all I left is you know showing these features you know how them how they work but I would like to uh, explain all of these features in coming lessons because they have uh, much importance in coming lessons okay if you if you like this video please consider subscribing me my channel it, it motivates me to do more videos and get uh, much energy okay thank you guys please like this video and share this video to your friends